अस्सलाम वालेकुम वेलकम टू गुल नॉलेज हब वेलकम माय यूट्यूब फैमिली इन टूडेज वीडियो एंड यू माइट बी वंडरिंग डेट मैम हैज अरेक्टेड अ वाइट बोर्ड बिकॉज माय डियर ऑडियंस द टूडेज टॉपिक इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर माय टिप्स फॉर द बिगनर्स टू गेन फ्लुएंसी टू लर्न इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज इन एन अफेक्टिव वे बिकॉज मोस्ट ऑफ द कमेंट्स आई हैव रिसीव्ड डेट मैम वाट वर्ड्स शुड आई यूज वाट स्ट्रैटी शुड आई फॉलो टू बी फ्लूएंट इन इंग्लिश दे आर स्टक इन दियर पाथ ऑफ गेटिंग फ्लूएंसी सो आई थॉट डेट आई शुड डिलीवर अ लेक्चर वेर आई शुड गिव यू अ डिटेल्ड लिस्ट ऑफ वर्ड्स विच इज़ यूज इन अ डेली कॉन्वर्सेशन सो आई एम शेयरिंग यू माई टिप्स टू लर्न इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज इन अ effective way if you are a beginner this is a very important lecture for you first of all i recommend you learn the most common words if i say you learn the most common words you might be wondering that ma'am what kind of words should i learn what kind of words are used in daily sentences so i am giving you a list of 50 words and these are called the common english verbs most of english sentences are made out of these 50 words and if you learn these 50 words i assure you that you can be fluent in english in your daily life so let's talk about those 50 words you can have a screenshot and you can write it down in your diary because these summarize the daily use sentences in english because our daily use sentences in english are comprised of these 50 words and these are called action words these are the most common english words so the first step the first step you have to take is to learn these 50 words first of all i say these are 50 common verbs verb ask and these are in alphabetical order these are arranged in alphabetical order a to z so let's start first one is ask b become begin call can come could do feel find get give go hear have help keep no leave let like live look make may mean might move need play put run say see seen should show start take talk tell think try turn use want will walk would you can have a screenshot of these 50 action words because all the daily use words are daily use sentences are made up of these 50 words these are so important so your first problem where to use the words what words you, we have to learn is solved in this video the next point is that don't seek perfect grammar yes dear audience because in our daily life communication is more than that of grammar even the native speakers make mistakes so if you are just trying to make your grammar perfect and you are ignoring the aspect of communication because mistakes can be ignored mistakes can be overcome and i have observed in my educational career in my teaching career that many students they are expert at grammar they you they know the each and every part a rule of grammar but they don't produce even a single sentence fluently why because their major emphasis is on grammar they don't seek perfection for fluency 
speaking part is neglected this is include this is not included in their life so you should have to focus on your speaking on how to convey your thought how on how to convey your point of view across this is your major task and if you are making mistakes it's okay to make mistakes rather it is a sign that you are making progress now dear audience we move forward to point number 3 this point is very important and how it is important because this point tells us 12 verb tenses in english there are 12 tenses in english and it is very difficult for english learner in the beginning at the initial level to learn all the 12 tenses so i have received comments that ma'am what what kind of tenses we should learn at first so i recommend you dear audience you should start with the simple tenses and what are simple tenses these are simple present tense simple past tense simple future tense in simple present tense we always talk about our daily life daily routine daily habits and we use the first form of the verb which we are talking about our daily life our habits for example on mondays i work the verb work is the first form of the verb so you have to learn the simple present tense next you should forward move forward towards simple past tense and in simple past tense you learn how to use yesterday ago last night last night last friday yesterday and in simple past tense we use the second form of the verb for example yesterday i worked worked is the second form of the verb and it shows that it is simple past tense yesterday also shows that it is simple past tense second step to learn simple past tense and then to practices and in simple past tense we use the second form of the verb now move forward towards simple future tense simple future tense we use the verb work word like tomorrow tomorrow i will work in tomorrow in future tense we use the helping verbs will or shall i and we we shall and with the rest of the all subjects we use will but now today in today's grammar this rule is eradicated and we use will with all the subjects and we use will with first form of the verb on monday tomorrow i will go tomorrow i will brush my teeth tomorrow i will study tomorrow i will run so basically at initial level at the beginning level you have to learn only the three tenses simple tenses after simple tenses it would be very easy for you to learn the rest of the tenses because there will there would be only the change of helping verb so get this point and act upon this point to gain fluency and to learn english language in the minimum time period next start fourth point is start small amount of listening <coughs> listening plays a very important role if you are accustomed to listening your vocabulary your comprehension skills how the native speakers use language you come across with lot of pronunciation accent and how to use the words in the natural way you come across all these points so but english movie is comprised of 2 hours and it is very difficult to sit for 2 hours and watch the movie so for initial or for the beginner i recommend you to start with 10 seconds to 1 minute listening every day 
this should be your practice on the daily basis you on daily basis you have to learn for 10 seconds to 1 minute listening next is start english for your life yes dear audience why we stuck with our english because we do not focus on our daily life english we have to focus we have to figure out daily use words our own life what is your life is different from mine so you have to focus on your life and what kind of words you have to learn you have to learn these kinds of words <coughs> for example family words family words relations brother sister father mother grandfather grandmother maternal uncle maternal aunt like these words after that work words you have to work what kind of work you are doing for example if you are te teacher you have to learn the words according to teacher if you are a if you are a doctor you have to learn the words like patient diseases symptoms diagnosis diseases and if you are a banker you have to learn the words like bank loan profit deposit withdraw these kinds of words so learn words according to your profession according to your work routine work <coughs> for example brushing your teeth wa face, washing your face is a daily routine habit so you have to minutely observe your daily routine and then learn the words of your daily routine next comes weather it is very important dear audience to learn about the weather words about weather for example it's hot today it's cold today it's windy today so these kinds of words when you come across with it becomes a strong foundation for you to proceed further <coughs> next six is review test your life yeah, self now you have done all these things you have memorized 50 words but how do you know that you are on the right track you are on the right way by testing yourself by tracking your progress and how can you track your progress you have to analyze you have to make simple sentences and if you are able to make simple sentences if you can recall these simple sentences if you are able to figure out these words then you are on the right way and my last and the bonus tip is that practice 10 minutes every day it's very much essential if you practice on daily basis for 10 minutes it will make your english far better than you are expected expecting right now so this is the lesson of today and it's a complete lecture and where you find all the words the tenses the grammar how do you proceed in your journey of english language learning because it's a vast word you have to enter into this word with specific weapons and these tips are your weapons and you have to utilize all these weapons to get excellence in your field of learning english language Hope you have understood all the tips and if you like the video kindly drop, drop a comment in the comment section and hit that bell icon because it motivates me to make more videos. Till the next video, stay happy, stay blessed, keep spreading the happiness. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.